Make science, yay! I'm Erin Ryan, and I found something today that was just too cool for school, and I had to share it with you. Arts and crafts! I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Micro crystals, Forge New World, official terraforming kits by, and you know what? I don't know how to say this properly. I'm gonna try. This, <laughs> it's made by Copernicus Toys. I don't know if you can see that all right. So really all you need to do this project is a winning spirit, this box right here, the cherry tree, a terraforming crystal growing fun kit that comes with everything that you practically need. And then all you need to have on your end is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So how easy can it get? And it is springtime in a box. Crystals grow on a tree and it's supposed to look something like this? I was like, science, yay! It comes with two pieces. You have the base and then the base is there for you to put the liquid in. And then you have these trees and they come like this and they all have these pieces that you gotta take out so you can form your tree. Then you put it in these slots, these slots right here. Oh, well, you have to choose the one that has the slot at the top so the second one can go in. Isn't this fun? And then you take the one that has the slot in the bottom and you put it down in the middle. So this is just cardboard and the, the purple you see was actually already on it. Do you think it looks like a tree? Maybe a little bit more bending. I think this is the way I want my tree to look. You have to, you have to see this. I, I mean, I want to see it together. Hopefully it works. Let's see if science works in our favor. Terraforming crystals. I hadn't even heard of this before. Let's take it for a little spin. Put the piece of paper right underneath here so it catches any crystals that will fall off. Here's the crystal liquid. So it says do not eat or swallow. I don't think I would. It looks like water. And I don't know if you know this, but in Nova Scotia, the valley is very well known for its apples and for its cherry trees. Say that three times fast. Cherry tree, cherry tree, cherry tree. It's because we have them, they're so pretty, and they blossom and smell so delicious and beautiful. And then we just pour it into the base. I feel like there needs to be a drum roll or something. So now it just looks like water in a plastic container. <laughs> awesome. This is intense. The paper of the model draws the solution up through all its parts. As a few hours pass, the solution evaporates and crystals form. Check back often to see all the interesting moments of growth. So we're done. This, this was easy. The color, shape, and speed of the terraforming will vary depending on the heat and humidity of your environment. Now we wait. And all I see is water at this point. That's what it, that's what it feels like. It's still just soaking up the solution. This is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for it to kind of look like this. Do you guys know the science behind this? That would be interesting. Ooh. And if you live in a place where you don't have cherry trees, here are some facts. Cherry trees boast spectacularly abundant blossoms. Like that. See that blossom right there? That's what it boasts. Spectacularly. Many springtime celebrations center around the cherry tree in full bloom. It's true. In Nova Scotia, the valley actually has a cherry blossom festival. In Japan, which has a strong tradition of cherry blossom festivals, the short-lived flowering is a reminder that life is full of joy and great beauty, but it is also short. What a good reminder. I think that's fantastic. Are you guys being patient with me? A cherry tree ranges in size from six to 30 feet. I love doing this kind of stuff. This is just fun, exhilarating, and it's simple. <laughs> I love the simple things, what can I say? Cherry trees grow throughout much of the world. Most of Asia, Europe, North America, and in Northern Africa. While all varieties of cherry trees bloom, not all produce cherries. I'm so excited <laughs> because we have progress. Come a little bit closer. Can you see them? Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, it's really starting to form. Grow little crystals. A festival of Michael crystals. Oh, it's gonna happen. So it does take a few hours 
And we're just beginning, I think, my friends, transforming crystals. So you could do this with your kids. It's non-toxic. It is safe. Of course, you don't want them to do it by themselves. And you probably would want to have your kids be six years old or older. I'm thinking the purple is supposed to turn the crystals purple. If you're interested in actually doing this yourself, they have a ton of stuff on, I'm gonna say it wrong again, but I will have it in the links below, copernicustoys.com. Science? Yay!